Good morning, everyone. Today we will have a demo session of PeopleSoft FSCM. PeopleSoft FSCM is is an ERP application. It, this entire course is great for job aspirants who wish to make a career in PeopleSoft FSCM. It is also good for experienced professionals who can gain additional information about the PeopleSoft modules that are part of this course. I'm a professional consultant with nearly five years of experience in PeopleSoft FSCM. I completed my engineering from Mumbai University and has started career in PeopleSoft technofunctional role in Tata Consultancy Service. I have I am currently working in Accenture as a business analyst in PeopleSoft FSCM. Today we will have a discussion on the peoples of application and its uses. Also, we will learn about business units, set IDs, and the difference between both the units. To people who will who may have not an idea about this, I will complete. I will provide a detailed explanation about these terms. These are peoples of terminologies, which are, which are used in the peoples of FSCM application. I will also share links to website you can which you can refer for self study and I will also share a few common interview questions. This is the course curriculum for for people's of FSCM training. The first topic is people's of application fundamentals. It contains uh, the generic configuration setups which are required to configure a people's of uh, ERP system into for the organization. It and the next topic is billing. People's of billing mod is a module which helps in creation of invoices uh, and payment of creation of invoices and the invoices are then sent to customers for payments. People, the next third topic is accounts receivable. The accounts receivables topic uh, covers the creation of items and the payments which are received from customers and also any other payments which are generic or which are also termed as direct general payments. It also contains AR dunning or which is a term for sending notifications to customer for for payments. The fourth topic is accounts payables. Accounts payables is cover accounts payable is used to cover the vouchers and which are pay, vouchers and its payments. The payments are processed through pay cycle, and all these steps in the navigations will be shown as part of this topic. And the last topic is general ledger. It covers the entire accounting of the organization, and also covers the year end close and gen, which is used to perform and calculate profit and losses of the organization. This entire course will cover detailed information about ERP application and their users there are several erp applications in the market which we which i will provide an insight about in the later slides it will also cover the peoples of erp application and the list modules which have been listed in previous slide and it, this is a course which is which beginners or new job aspirants with, who are making a career path in peoples of finance or peoples of fscm and it is a beginner friendly some Experienced professionals who are working in different PeopleSoft modules can also gain a lot from this course and increase their competency or skill set to match with their current organization. PeopleSoft training in the market. With this training, it will help you achieve a brief experience about the PeopleSoft FSCM and what uh, it is all about. And this will help you to clear interviews easily with the knowledge which you will receive from this course. And once this course is complete, you can apply for different job roles such as technical, techno functional, functional consultant, business analyst role. Technical consultants are basically working in the development side of the people's job. This course is about the functional side. However, recruiters for new job aspirants also considers knowledge of functional consultants and provide the provide hires the resources for technical roles as well. Techno functional consultant are a mix of both technical and a functional 
experienced person and the functional consultant is a purely of people's of functional consultant business analyst role is basically used for the people who are more involved with the client in the company and they gather requirements or data sets for the client and help in creating the or implementing people's of into the organization with this training you can pursue oracle certification which uh, which is people's of 9.2 financial set implementations specialist this certification is a paid certification which is provided by oracle i have mentioned the exam code on the screen it is 1z0631 mind magic also provides its own certification for the students who are pursuing this course and com uh, complete this entire course the certification i will have your name the sample certification sample certificate is displayed in the slide now coming to the peoples of fscm training introduction to first i will introduce the an erp application and the what is an erp application erp is an integrated management of organization business process it is basically a suite of different applications which an organization can use to collect store manage data from different sources and perform their business functions now let's take an example of a supermarket store there are several as i said there are several erp applications few of them are stm which is supply chain management supply chain management con consists of controlling the product stocks inventory so in a supermarket the products i mean inventory or stocks which are stored and sold uh, supply chain management will cover the orders to be made for stock which is depleted and the stock which is pending for a long time and so on the next uh, erp application is financial account or accounting application this application will perform financial operations such as uh, generation of invoices and calculating the supermarket losses and revenue and also payments to suppliers one of the other application is human resource management human resource management controls the payroll of employees working in the organization in our case it is a supermarket and also tracking their time and also any additional benefits or expenses which the organization will cover such as if a custom if an employee on the supermarket makes high sales he may receive certain benefit additional benefits apart from regular payment one other application is a crm customer relationship management this application covers the re and maintains relationship of with the customers uh, in supermarket let there are multiple customers who usually buy the products of a mar in the market if a supermarket is using crm to manage we can use we can provide some existing from of special offers and discounts to customers to maintain the relationship or any other activity which will which will help and assist the customers there are several pro providers uh, who provide the er to the to corporate customers so few of the provide providers well known in the market are sap oracle oracle cloud fusion and workday oracle now coming to peoplesoft peoplesoft fscm which is also a financial supply chain management uh, is an erp application provided by oracle it covers the financial and the supply chain business process of an organization uh, peoplesoft is a, not a cloud based application it is installed locally in the mainframe servers of the organization various organization will use peoplesoft fscm to maintain the financial information calculate the revenue losses of this organization uh, generate invoices create uh, create payments to the vendors and also cover uh, year and close and accounting now coming back to the 
two topics of uh, sorry for that coming back to the two topics of uh, business unit and set set id as part of this course before covering business unit and set id uh, i will provide an explanation of the types of data that is uh, stored or maintained in any any erp application there are two types of data that is present in an organization that is transactional data and a master data transactional data are the data elements that are generated for regular business transactions for example an organization like a supermarket chain uh, will create will generate invoices for several customers or several products which customers will buy it may also create vouchers for paying the vendors for receiving the supplied uh, product or inventory and so on so for any day to day or regular transaction uh, data for such transactions is called as transactional data uh, now coming to the master data master data or it will also termed as setup or configurational data uh, these data elements are needed to enable the system perform its business transactional its business transactions for example in a supermarket uh, if uh, there are there can be different supermarket outlets and there can be diff, uh, different vendors to the supermarket who are sending products and shipment for the stock, stock of the supermarket as part of setup data the list of the vendors can be stored or the group of the vendors can be stored in the system and it also can include the bank accounts where all the financial uh, transactions are made and the amount is updated on the banks or it can also contain information about the customers who are coming into the supermarket or buying from supermarket and what are they buying setup data or such configured data is limited i mean and have a less count of less count compared to the transactional data now coming back to the business unit in set id business unit is an entity which drives the transactional data for the organization for example if there if there are several outlets in of supermarket in several state each outlet may be performing some day to day uh, trans transactions such as generating invoice so to identify the invoices at the global level at or at the managerial level uh, we can provide a business unit will be able to identify uh, which outlet will be used so business unit can be used as a way to and uh, to provide an identity to the department that to the department or to, to the outlet which can be used which are performing transactions on a day to day basis set id is a driver for the master data it will store the information which can be common across all the business units or all the outlets of the supermarket chain it will share the setup along all the supermarkets such as an example of a set id is uh, let's say there is a vendor a vendor who is vendor who supplies to five different outlets of a mumbai based supermarket so for each of these outlet all which can, which we will which are we are considering as a single each of these outlets are single business units or single department in, and each of these business unit or department will purchase goods from the common vendor so they will all share the features of that vendor such as the vendor address and the vendor location and so on so set id is something that is configured used for configure configurational data such as master data and business unit will be used for transactional data of an organization in people soft fscm training we will demonstrate following projects as part of this course for billing module we will create online invoices and load them to the account receivables and for account receivables module we will create the items and also apply payments of that items 
and in accounts table we will create a voucher and post the payments of the vouchers and in general ledger we will create an online journal entry transaction and complete the year end close this is the basic requirements of a peoplesoft environment setup a generally peoplesoft license is only available for corporate customer organizations no demo version is available for individual customer use regarding the system or the desktop requirements we need a minimum of 6 gb ram sorry run the application and a disk space of 125 to 135 gb to da is to download and install the application software requirements are microsoft windows 7 or higher with 64 bit version and a virtual box which is provided from the oracle itself filezilla and putty is also used for making connections to the database and to the server filezilla is used for storing all the file data of people soft environment as part of this training we these are the few websites which can be used to access the people soft resources and which you can use for self study or additional study uh, people books is the most common and user friendly a uh, way to get to know more about peoplesoft it will contain a detailed information of all the peoplesoft modules in all the content the other link i have mentioned is the link for understanding business unit and sakari in more depth this is a separate link which i have shared for a different website these are the some interview questions which uh, recruiters will ask frequently and are common around all experience groups business unit and set id definition and differences between those define a transactional table define control tables explain table set control and record groups which is also known as table set sharing uh, these are the few interview questions which are from business unit and set id definition purpose you can learn more about this questions in the links which i have shared or i will provide an explanation or answers to these questions in my next uh, uh, training session now if you have any questions regarding the subject timings resource allocation you can discuss it with mind magics please drop your query at info@mindmagics.com thank you for bearing me for the this session and we appreciate your feedback this will help us improve this sessions and training quality further and you can let us know at the same email and the or the contact number provided in the slide below thank you everyone